Welcome to Gold is Where You Find It, and another hour of raw, unedited gold prospecting footage. This is actually the sixth hour at this spot today. So uh, we're gonna finish it up. The first five hours, we got some really good gold. And um, you can go see that cleanup. If you go look at my recent live streams, you'll see a cleanup that says from hours X to X. Then you'll know that's the gold from here. But we show you the gold as we go. And uh, what we're gonna do now is I've been running pay right over here. And that's where we've gotten pretty good gold. Along this bank right here, you can see I haven't done like damage or made big holes because that's how I do it. I'm really only taking the top foot or so. Um, but we're gonna go down here and we're gonna see if it continues. I don't see big gravel deposits. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, so we're gonna go find out. We're gonna go find out. So you can see from the what I've stirred up from digging, look where that stuff is going and it might kind of shoot off away from the bank a little bit the pay streak might shoot off away from the bank i don't know because look how it's carving that out move that big old tree right down there um but let's go do some test pans in order to do that i got to get all these cons out of my bucket here or out of my pan into the bucket Oh yeah, and I, did I uh, already say to go ahead and uh, smash the like button? Would appreciate that very much. Uh, I need to be over here with some water. And we're gonna get some gold. I feel like we've done good, but I've had better before. And so of course we wanna get the most possible. So that's going to require some more testing. That's what we're going to do. And let me get my hand, classifier, shovel. Snuffer can stay here. We'll take the cons bucket down there with us. Where's the shovel? Oh, it's over there. Duh. Because I was feeding the box directly last hour. Wasn't even classifying. So it worked out okay. I think we got decent gold, but I wanted to test it separately by shoveling straight in the box. And then, like an idiot, I combined my cons before I panned it out. So, not the smartest. Um, what else we need? The buckets. Taking the cons bucket. And because that's what I do, I keep all my black sands. And let's go over here and see what we can find. Haven't really tested down here. So I don't really know what to expect. Okay, we do have lots of good gravel through here. Okay, we do have some decent sized rocks through here. Okay. And we got a little carve out here. Push this tree over here. All right. I need to find a safe place to put my, how about that? I'm gonna put my stuff on this little gravel bar over here that's actually what we're gonna do we're gonna try just downhill from that gravel uh, accumulation where it appears there's some bigger rocks all right how do y'all feel about that we're just gonna pick somewhere along here and we're gonna dig what do you think let's dig all right oh me and my class is fire come on man Although this seems kind of mucky right here, so let's try a little bit further out. Let's try like right in here. That's what I'm feeling. Alright. First test pan of the hour. That's what this hour is gonna be, test pans. All right. 
What do we think? What do we think? It's got some red to it. Some goopiness. There's not like piles of clay or anything. I mean, the material feels good. It feels compacted, but then I felt something soft at the end. Okay. Don't know what to think yet. I should go get my painting stool, huh? That would make sense. Let's do one more scoop and then we'll get our painting stool. I've been working pretty hard today, so I can use a little sitting down. Come on. Come on, Mr. Big Rock. Get out of my way. Wherever you are, you gotta go. Whoa. That went way in. I don't know if I want to go that far in. We'll just come out from this direction. There. Ugh. There we go. Yeah. I got that stool for a reason. Might as well use it, huh? Might as well use it. Save the bat. Alright. Stay right in here. No. Nope. Need a little bit deeper water to pan. We'll go right over here. Alright. That'll work. Get our pan, get our angle set up. There we go. Should be about good. All right. Time to test pan, y'all. Time to test pan. My super sluice is at the house full of uh, cons. Didn't feel like cleaning it out, so I brought my mine lab instead. It's okay. I mean, it's a pan, it's a round pan, but I'm just a fan of my super sluice. Big time. All right. So let's see, y'all. How good is this material down here? Maybe we'll get lucky and find a picker. I don't mind test panning. After sluicing all day for five hours, I mean, I just kind of want to sit down a little bit, you know, and change it up. So we're going to see if we can learn something about this pay streak that we've been following for a couple years. I really should have gritted it out a long time ago. When I say grit it out, I mean you kind of, you can get steaks, get some steaks, not the kind that are made out of meat, but uh, the kind that mark things. And so you do pans at different levels and you do pans um, up and down, side to side. Um, and you kind of mark your steaks as to, you know, good pans and bad pans. And then, you can hopefully connect the dots to where the streak is. You can have like a green one for like over a certain number of colors, a red one for under a certain number of colors. And then, uh, yeah, follow the streak. Should have been done a long time ago out here. All 
All right, now I'm gonna get my finishing pan because that's just the way I like it. Uh, we'll go ahead and pan it down further. I trust this style of riffle. I'm seeing lots of kyanite, so usually that's a good, good indicator for me. Um, let me go ahead and set that up here. We get the finishing pan. If you've seen me uh, work for a while, you'll know that's what I do. It's at the end, I've transferred into a smaller pan. This one specifically. It helps me get good spec count, or helps me see the spec count better. This is test pan number one. That's a good thing about putting it on video is you can see exactly where you dug and you can go back and grid it that way. They're like, oh, that pan came from right there and it had that many colors and I should be able to plot it out like that just from going back and watching my videos, which I don't always do. Yeah, it was supposed to be raining like all day and it just hasn't. We've been lucky. We've been lucky today. Alright. It's about good. About ready to stop right there and do a little reveal. See what kind of spec count we get. If it's not a hundred colors, then it's not a great pan. That's the way I classify things out here. Good pans equal a hundred colors. Tiny colors, but nonetheless, hundred colors. We got some colors. We definitely got some colors. Look at that. That's a good one right there, y'all. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, good test pan. All right, let's take a look at it. I mean, it's not the best in the world, but whenever you see a line of gold in the pan, you know, it's kind of hard to uh, complain. So let's go ahead and go in for a zoom here and look at that. Is it a hundred? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not a hundred. Having trouble getting into focus though, aren't I? It's alright, it's alright. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get some more. So. Let's do another pan from that same spot, but go a little bit deeper. So we see where my shovel is. That's where we're gonna, that's where we're gonna dig, right through there. And see if we can get more. Actually, it's more like right there. All right. almost exactly right here. There we go, yeah. That's exactly where it was. Okay, so 
we got got that good clay. Got that good clay here. Taking another pan from the same spot, see if it gets better or not. Something there. Some kind of obstruction. I don't know what that was all about. But there's goop there. Okay. Good enough. All right. Y'all, I'm pretty exhausted. Pretty tired. But that's all right. We're going to keep on going. Another 42 minutes. And then call it a day, because that'll be six hours. Which is a pretty solid day of... Uh, straight working, you know, without a, a break really, no lunch break, I got food in the car, but doesn't do you much good when you're at the creek, huh, alright, About time to go get that finishing pan. The bigger pans are just for the volume. Smaller pans are for getting spec counts. All right, so let's go get that.
I'm gonna be ready for a nice meal after this. Is it gonna be better or worse than the last one? I mean, it's the same exact hole. There. Definitely chunkier pieces of kyanite than um, what we had in the previous pan. Or more chunky pieces of kyanite. So the answer to the question is can we come down here and work? Is yeah. Answer is yeah. Is it better? I don't know yet. It's gotta be better to walk further. That's the way I look at it. If it ain't better, why are you gonna walk further? All right, let's check it out. Okay, boom. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. I don't think so, y'all. Nope. Okay, so that's a piece of information. I mean, there's gold, but it ain't it ain't as good. Let me show you how small this gold is. It's unbelievably small. This camera might actually like the sun better. My other camera really does better in the shade. This one might be a little bit better in the sun. Alright, so if you go in for a zoom here. Okay, yeah, it's definitely better in the sun. But I mean, you can see there's gold, but it's not as much. I mean, it's really small, and there's not as much, but definitely gold. Um, but that's a piece of information. Over here, it ain't that great, because normally you would get better pans than that in a row up there. Um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and put that into Tom's bucket. Because it is gold. It is more gold. And just so people can see, let's do one from up there for comparison where we were working before. And I'm telling you, it's better. It's better. Well, got too much to carry all at once. Alright. Telling it's better. So let's go ahead and show that. And it's not as far of a walk. So alright. Let's try right down here. That's not where the very best pans were. The very best pans were somewhere up in there.
that was good. And also this was good right here. Let's do, let's do right here because this was good. But you do have to be on that certain layer. What we got, is it red? Yes it is. All right. The red stuff down here is what you want. My experience was that it's better further from the bank, like about this far. If I get too close to the bank, it gets not as good. More red clouds. Hey, there we go. Don't pan into where you're digging there. Um, that's all right. I was digging here, but I'm gonna pan there anyway. Well, this will be fine. All right. Okay, here we go. Y'all, I'll tell you what, after six hours, you get a little worn out. Even me, I've been doing this a long time and I still get worn out.
Nothing but heavy black sand left. Finishing pan. Number six, y'all, like, woo, hungry. I am a hungry hippo right now. So hopefully we uh, find some pretty good spec counts. I mean, I'm already digging in the exact same spot I've been digging all day, so really just doing it for a comparison point. That red stuff is seems to be the best. Should have a hundred pieces of gold in this pan. been a long day folks long day of gold prospecting gotta to work tomorrow tomorrow after work I got another spot I want to check out so I gotta bring my yabby pump to that spot where I had that 0 0.07 gram pan it just blew me away, man. Yeah, it should be a pretty good test band here. Wasn't excited about that last one. It's crazy. Crazy. Need to check some football scores. It's Sunday. I thought I saw a piece getting ready to go over. Let's see what we got, Mr. Test Pan. Okay, that's enough. Let's see. Let's check it. Yep. And that's where it is. That's where it is. Okay, so now you know. See that? That's one pan. It's one pan. One pan. That's what I'm after right there. Let me show you. Well, you kind of already saw, but show you out here. Far better than down there. So it's crazy. This is better. Move downstream. It's not as good. Look at that. Look at that solitary test pan right there.
That, ladies and gentlemen, is a test pan. And that's the good stuff. So why I tried to go down there where the test pans are not as good. Well, I, I know exactly why. It's called curiosity. It's called curiosity. So, well, well, well. That's what's up. That's what's up. Let's get it some more. <laughs> about right through here? Let's just see. See if it keeps going. Well, we know it keeps going. We've been getting it all day, y'all. We've been getting it all day. How much weight is that going to turn into? I don't know. Let's find out. I think we got 0.4 today. I really think so. I mean, am I even in the frame? I'm pretty sure I am because I'm in that wide angle lens. Yeah, right here. Come on. Whatever big rock you are, you need to move. There we go. I gotta get underneath. I wish somebody could go back and tell me how many shovels I did today over the last six episodes. Now you see why I didn't do test pans when I started out today. Because I already did my homework. 100 spec pans. I think it's funny when I go places that other people have been going. People like to dig in fresh gravel bars. If it's a fresh gravel bar, it looks like it was just made by the last rain. Don't dig there. Don't dig there. You gotta dig an old gravel. Gravel that's been there for a minute. Gravel that's gonna end up turning into conglomerate if you don't get there first. Because that means accumulation.
course, I left my cons bucket all the way down there. And that's far enough to get the cons bucket. Well, and the uh, finishing pan, both. Cons bucket here. Got quite a bit of cones to take home. It's gonna be a quite an eventful clean up there. I'm gonna take me a minute to scoop all this stuff through the box. Woo! All right. So I should be able to repeat that last man. Just quite impressive how much, uh, how many specs I'm getting per pan over here. Quite impressive. Panning it down. Test pan, test pan. Plenty of gold left to be get, gotten over here. I mean, I ran seven buckets and then fed the box for an hour. And then doing pans after that. So five hours of sluicing, one hour of panning, six hours. So, I love it out here, it's so beautiful. Far enough. Ooh, see some gold. See some gold right there. Let me see if I can show you without messing it up. On the second riffle from the top. Right there. See that? Okay, so back out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tap it. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it because we're already seeing gold. <sighs> Forty-five minutes in already. Hey, I think my pace slowed a little bit. I mean, there's definitely more in the black sand, but, I mean, let's see. There you go. That's what I call a pretty good pan right there. So, that's what's up. So that's going back in the cons bucket. We got time for a few more pans. A couple more pans. Okay, so we know what that looks like. I want to see if it's just as good up here. I want to see if that's just as good right there behind where my stool is. So let's go ahead and get a pan from there.
So I was going this direction. It seemed pretty good, but should I have kept going or not? Long day, long day. I'm thinking it continues. some old thick glass right there. Now let's get another fat scoop in our pan here. What's going on, man? Coming down here to get some fish? Yeah, there's some fish over here for sure. I've been seeing them. Yeah, up there where that water's deep. Yeah, you like that? You tried that hole right there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll, be, I'll be seeing them. So, but I'm getting ready to get out of here, man. I'll be here in like 15 minutes, so I'll stop making noise and messing up your fishing. But, uh... Huh? Um, I mean, you can go down there too. I mean, I haven't tried down there. But that hole right there, it's deep. It's a deep hole, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, people rolling through that probably don't have permission, but eh, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know they don't have permission. He does good, but I don't know if he's supposed to be here or not. But I don't care. Not hurting anything. I mean, we're pretty far back here. See if this one's as good or not because then I'll tell me if I should keep going that way or stay down here next time I come work this area.
go. Whew. I am so starving right now, y'all. So starving. I guess uh, I snuffered up a fair amount of the gold, not all of it. So before we head out, I'm gonna show you some gold. And I'll show you what we got. It's not all of what we got. Why am I doing that? Because I'm gonna have to clean it up real careful, but I got a decent amount of gold from today in the snuffer bottle. So I'll show you that in just a little bit before we shut down. Have some time to at least watch some afternoon football and some Sunday night football. But the noon games are a lost cause. Lots of kyanite. Let's see. Man, I'm still dreaming about that pan in Athens. And then hopefully I can repeat that if I use my Yabby pump. I think I just saw gold in the corner. So whenever you start to see gold, that's when I usually decide to stop. So let's go ahead and pull it back. See if it's as good as that last thing. The last man was pretty darn good. I think so. The last pan was pretty nice. Give me some food. I need some yummy in my tummy. All right, let's see. And the answer to that is, oh, it's hard to say. It's not as good. Nope, not as good. Isn't that crazy? I would have could have got more gold today if I would have paid attention. Because comparatively speaking, I mean that's still a lot of colors. But comparatively speaking, nope, nope, not as good. So we got five minutes left. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the snuffer over here. I'm going to show you all what we got going on. And then I'm going to talk to you all while I'm cleaning up. Yeah, we're just going to dump that in there. Now. Dump that in there. And this is what we got in the first five hours. First five hours. This is the gold we got. All right. Clean the threads out. I always worry about that with this snuffer. Uh, so we'll look at it just, just as I dumped it. Like, without even tapping it. And then y'all can decide for yourselves. Well, you may have already seen the cleanup, but... Do, 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 do. Look at that. We got gold all throughout. That one's pretty nice looking though. All right, I'll tap it up. Look how much is over there. All right, we'll tap it. We will tap it for you. Put it in a nice little line. This little line of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little line of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. OK, 
Okay. There you go, ready? Ready for a little reveal action. I'm sorry about the glare, but oof. Okay, there you go. Let's flip it up. Is it a half? Is it a half grammar? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Is there a lot more gold in the cons? Yeah. So this is just a portion of it. You can see that from here. So there you go. That's the big reveal from five hours. And my battery is 5%. Dang. Okay, so that's going to do it, y'all. Um, didn't realize that. Um, I'll see you all next time. I'll just do that just in case it dies. But appreciate y'all being here. If you could smash the like button on the way out and uh, subscribe to the channel. Consider joining to be a member so you can get members-only content and members-only live streams. And also check out my merch store at goldiswhereyoufindit.com. And um, that's going to do it for another hour of raw unedited gold prospecting footage appreciate you watching and i'll see you tomorrow